Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden Chiefs as always. Got some defensive plays for you guys once again. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some defensive plays that I actually first uh, brought out in a gameplay a couple days ago. So if you didn't see that gameplay, if you want to see these plays in action, I will put a link in the description uh, for the original gameplay that brought me to the point where I think this is probably one of the better defenses in the game to use right now. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs ebook as always. I call it ebook because it's the only defensive ebook I made all year. And it's the only defense I use. I mean, this playbook here... I've covered just about every formation in the game this, so far this year. Uh, so if you want to see more defensive plays out of the Chiefs, either you can buy my ebook or whatever. But you can also go to my Kansas City Chiefs playlist and get all the stuff that I've shown throughout this entire year for free. Uh, but like I said, the ebook's obviously got more. I've shown run defenses, blitzes, uh, pass defenses. I've been, I've shown a ton out of this playbook. So let's go ahead and let's start off with the formation. It's the dollar three two six. I'm sure that you can use uh, similar formations like the one four six and stuff like that. This is one of the metas last. Last year when this year came out I mean a lot of people were running like I know me personally I was running the spinner last year I was running uh, a lot of these cornerback blitzes I can't find the other one the DB fire has always been popular I don't even see the one I was running last year but basically this formation was all about blitzing the DBs because it was really good to blitz DBs they were fast this year doesn't really work out this that well this year it's all about coverage uh, and that's why it's taking me a little bit of time to get back to this formation because like I said I wasn't really messing with anything but the blitz plays but this really has some of the best uh, coverage formations in the game some of the best coverage plays uh, and I'm gonna start off with one of the ones that I showed you guys uh, in that gameplay video to me maybe one of the best defenses especially past defenses in the game and that's the cover three lock now I'm not actually going to I'm just gonna go ahead and put these all in my audibles because this is pretty much the exact same setup that I use online I keep the cover two man because cover two is still one of the best uh, man defenses I put the cover three lock in I'm gonna replace the cover two drop the next play that I would have in uh, would be the cover three cloud show too now you guys know I use my 335 cloud uh, cover three cloud a lot I still do it's still one of the better plays but I really find that cover three cloud in general is a really good defense to run so I'm gonna put that there as the third as the third option the fourth option I really don't use this too much but for people that like cover four this is probably one of the best run defenses in the game so the cover four drop would definitely be one of them there I'll show you guys a run defense setup for that now before I get into the video as always I just want to let you guys know this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor at mmoxp.com if you guys want to get your mutt team uh, up make sure you check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order other than that let's go and let's get right into the play now like i said i know i picked this as one of my first plays but the first play i'm going to show and to me there's really two plays in this scheme that are the mvps and that's the cover three cloud show two and the cover three lock the cover three lock is probably the most unique so we're gonna go over that first now as far as cover three goes there's a couple things that really beat cover three and a lot of times i mean i i use it a lot myself streaks right up the seams uh, through certain formations with certain setups are one play touchdowns against cover three that's why having this guy on a man coverage which is default by the way is a total um you know it's a total lifesaver because it's going to take away any streaks you also have this guy over here seam flats if you don't know if there was a receiver streaking in the slot on this side i'll go ahead and I'll flip it seam flats over here if the, if that's a streak he will drop back and he will follow that streak seam flats do that curl flats don't so essentially if you have um you know this basically this play has your number one weakness uh, when it comes to cover threes game one play one play touchdowns against cover threes is streaks up the seams if somebody knows how to do it which i put out a lot of plays like that this takes that away so that's one of the better things about this uh, another uh, the only real adjustments that i make aside from pinching my defensive line because i essentially want to try to take away it's not a great run defense like i said previously it's a, it can be an adequate run defense i'll show you guys a run defense out of this particular formation later but this play here is more of a pass defense so i'll typically just try to pinch this defensive line just to take away any immediate up the middle stuff because those gaps are more problematic than anything and then i'll basically just put one of these defensive ends typically the one opposite the running back we're actually facing the running back if it's in a shotgun like this but typically the one uh you know closest to the running back because if it's an in if it's going to be a handoff here it's going to be an inside zone so if i drop this guy back 
into a uh, bluff blitz, which is how I get that three wreck look. Uh, I'm essentially going to be dropping back the guy that's going to be most responsible for stopping the run. So I typically three wreck one of these defensive ends. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter a ton. Then I'll blitz my user and I'll pretty much um, just try to freelance because that three wreck, that's another form of a man coverage. And I'll probably have to show this in replay. But if this tight end in front of me goes on a slant or a drag or whatever he does, he's typically going to be followed by the three wreck. So that really opens me up. We have basically three different man coverage assignments going on here that you typically don't have in zone coverages that they're not true man coverages but they can react like man coverage the man coverage obviously is the three rec like i said it acts a lot like a man coverage to whoever the third uh the third receiver is that's what three rec stands for third receiver is on the field and then you also have your seam flat which can act like a man coverage it will follow from time to time so i have all that going on it really frees me up to freelance which is what makes this defense so good now, I don't really anticipate, I wasn't planning on running this in practice, because like I said, I did a full breakdown of this in gameplay, uh, and you're definitely going to see this more in my gameplay in the future, but you can see we have uh, some deep coverages, and there's nothing really open there, the quarterback's going to take off. So that's pretty much what you're going to see. Let's go to the replay to see what the three rec was doing. Like I said, these are max coverage assignments. These are max coverage uh, defensive plays. That's really the point of how I run my defense. There's really nothing going to be open. I don't anticipate getting a ton of pressure, but you can see right here, the three rec, he will follow that third receiver. Like I said, that tight end right there as you can see pretty much every here's everything here's double teamed this guy right here he's double teamed because he's on a crossing route which you know if you can double team every receiver that's going to be a win uh this guy here like i said the three rec does eventually follow but even still i mean you can see how these guys communicate the three rec is really in a position to follow that i don't know if i have the right guy maybe yeah i do have the right guy he he'll stay in the middle a lot of times which is something else that makes the three rec in my opinion really valuable because you can see me i'm freelancing i'm t i'm going up to take away this deep route I won't feel comfortable doing that unless I know I have a three rec down in the box here, uh, basically eating up space. So like I said, if there's a receiver, he'll follow that receiver. You can see he does here at the start of the play, but then he also kind of lets it go when he realizes that the curl flat's going to take over. So right here, the curl flat drops into that underneath, and this guy's doubled the whole way across the board. That's the thing about regular zones. Uh, like hook curls. This hook curl, curl is worthless. This guy right here, he basically just drops straight back. And he doesn't do much else. You can see right here, once he goes across, falls for a little bit, but he doesn't really do much. So that's why you need the three rec. The three rec in the bluff blitz is way more important. So that's basically the setup for that defense. My second favorite, like I said, that's the cover three cloud. As far as adjustments go, still making the same adjustments. Still pinching the defensive line. Spreading these linebackers out just a little bit. That's just to kind of keep outside containment. There's no running back in the backfield right now. So obviously I'm got to worry about it then i'm just going to like once again it's the same setup streak my or uh, put my defensive end into a three wreck and you know blitz my user i mean i could just as easily leave the um leave the linebacker in a three wreck and user a defensive end too i don't have to do that like I could, this is something it's a little bit quicker and it probably makes a little bit more sense if you're not good with adjustments you can do that the last thing i would do though is i would definitely you know bring these safeties over a little bit because that's one issue that this defense can have because it is a cover two if a streak a lot of times can give problems uh, with this guy's in too far if he starts off over here too much there's ways to you know create separation with the cloud flat you can just simple stuff like putting the uh you know the receiver in the slot on a flat and then streaking the overneath route it'll just basically create separation so now typically i like to bring matthew over here a little bit get him in a little bit more position so that he doesn't have that issue of getting beat uh but that's pretty much it so that's pretty much the look uh and then like i said this here there's still you know possibilities as far as this play is concerned um i still have compared to cover through lock this play gives up a little bit more, but I do feel like this play also might get more turnovers in cover three lock. So that's the best way I would I would decipher these two plays. This play here gets more turnovers. Cover three locks more of a shutdown defense. I'll definitely have more people, uh, you know, holding the ball and getting sacked uh, because there's just really nothing open. And now you can see right here. I mean, there's you know underneath stuff you'll have a little bit of that, but other than that, there's not really much to uh, go against when it comes to a play like this. So those are the top two plays. I did want to show you guys a run defense setup out of this. I'm going to pick the cover four drop container. This is probably the best run defense with the exception of the, uh, where is it out here, the cover 2 DD fire, which I will, like I said, I'll show that probably on my Patreon and on my Join Now community. But without a doubt, this is probably one of the better run defenses. So let's go and let's pick that. 
The safeties, if you guys don't know, cover four safeties typically will play, they'll play forward before they drop. Cornerbacks and cover fours drop straight back, but safeties typically hesitate or come forward before uh, once the ball's hiked. So that's one of the reasons that this cover four is a better run defense than the other plays in this formation. So here we get a run. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, I hit random outside run. Not really sure what I'm going to see here, uh, but that obviously, you know, that was, that was snuffed out. So here we go one more time. Like I said, I just... As far as the setup goes, I mean, I'm bringing the these these safeties. I you can just pinch the defense. It's gonna it's gonna create a lot of this look. Uh, but I still want to bring these safeties down because it won't let me show blitz in a pinch defense for whatever reason. Maybe there's something that I'm missing, but you can see. I mean, I'm shutting down. I'm at a disadvantage. And I'm shutting down these plays uh, pretty easily. So once again, pinch defense. I said these safeties stay back but i want them down because they're part of the run defense and then i just hard flat that's pretty much it blitzing my user obviously just so i can have a little bit more range of motion and mobility but you can see there's nothing really here there's no real inside runs no real outside runs so the only thing i mean the, the only thing about this defense is you are undersized a lot of times but like i said if you have good safeties you're playing mutt you could easily uh you know Give yourself a boost of size and put some good safeties and linebackers and stuff in there, and it doesn't even feel that way. But you can see there's really no holes. I mean, I'm using it pretty easily as well, uh, which really shouldn't be the case. I mean, there's they're coming out and you know this is a two tight end set. Probably gonna have no issue shutting this down one more time. Like I said, if I got a few seconds to bring these safeties down, if they're really pounding the ball, I'll use her a safety at the end of the day. Um, you know, what I mean that's that's something that you could also do to kick it up a notch. Uh, but I mean, there's you know, there's just no real holes here because these safeties play down like that. There's no real gaps, no real lanes. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the video there. If you guys want to see, like I said, full breakdown of this coverage, I still have a couple more plays I'm gonna put on my Patreon here and put on my uh, Join Now community tab. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Maybe next weekend I'll put out the full scheme. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.